Hey guys, it's Ruta Mittal here. Welcome to my channel. So this video is a little bit different. Uh, it's more of a personal video. Usually I do business related videos and uh, um, I am either advising you on business or marketing or productivity or achieving your goals and all of those things. And I've never done one of these before, but I think I wanted to do something like this this year and um, so I'm doing it. So I'm talking about turning 27 this year in June 2020. Um, 27 is such a weird uh, year because you know back when I was uh, younger I used to always think that oh by 27 I would have my shit together and like I would be awesome and all of those things and I feel like uh, I am but it still feels weird you know because I in my mind I think for people it's 30 for me it was always 27 I don't know why because I feel like up until you're 25 you're like easy going and things like that and then you become a little bit serious but yeah 27 is a fun birthday number at least for me and uh, I'm so excited because I want to share five things five lessons I learned over the last year and really up until um, right now. Uh, no, I, now I know it's a trend on YouTube that people do like, um, that people do 27 lessons in 27 years kind of videos, but I feel like that is too long and too boring. So I'm just gonna stick with five. I'm gonna give you five of my best lessons. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So number one is about, uh, enjoying the ride so i know like when you're an entrepreneur and you're running your own business and you face like ups and downs and challenges and uh some phases um of running a business are just difficult um and it's easy to get obsessed with numbers like revenue and customers and all of these things and i get that it's definitely important it is super important i definitely get that um but what I have learned is there will always be a new number to chase, a new revenue number, a new customer number or any other goal um, that you're chasing. There will always be some other number that you want to chase. So um, I have known and realized that when you actually give yourself time to enjoy the ride, to um, enjoy the lessons that you're learning, to even enjoy the failures because they're making you wiser and uh, you know to not take things which are important for granted like um, your health you cannot now come in and say that oh i'm just gonna work more and skip my workouts because health is important we don't always have health on our side if we keep ignoring it um the other thing is family um whatever time i spend with family my husband my parents it is so precious i have so much fun and i have notice that like when i pay attention to that instead of saying oh i'm too busy to call my mom or i'm too busy to spend time with my husband um then that's not really a good way to live life you know you are a human outside of the business outside of being an entrepreneur and i've just realized that uh, i don't want to like lose myself in the process of becoming an entrepreneur so that's my first one to enjoy the ride so the second one is about your habits are really there for uh, helping you get through the bad days rather than the good days. So um, I'm recording right now. I'm not sure when this video is coming out. But anyways, we have been in lockdown for about four months now. And it, it's been tough and it's been stressful. And all of us have been like doing all of our chores along with working and things like that. It's tough. I get it but I feel like um, all of the good habits that I had created before this duration um, like meditation and working out and eating better and eating intentionally has like changed my life I feel like if I didn't have those good habits I would have struggled so much more than I already did I'm not saying I didn't struggle I'm saying I would have struggled more if I didn't have those good habits to ground me to stabilize me to look forward to um, them making me feel good to releasing endorphins to releasing stress so that is important you build your habits um, not for the good days but for the bad days Okay, so the third one is hard situations or tough situations make you so much stronger. I know it seems like a simple one, but 
um, whatever uh, challenges I've faced, whether in my personal life or in my business life, have made me so much stronger and wiser. And honestly, lockdown and this pandemic was one of that. Like I have traveled um, every single month for the past two years. It's just like because my lifestyle is such that I work from home, just from a laptop and internet, right? So I really can work from everywhere. And that is why I actually quit my job so that I could have the freedom to travel. So I didn't like travel to fancy places every month. The travel even meant like visiting my parents or um, you know, just exploring in and around the city or basically going to Goa for the hundredth time because I wanted to enjoy the monsoons. Um, so I, I was always someone who like used to travel every single month. I just couldn't put my feet inside the home for more than a month. And like staying locked inside your apartment for three to four months has was very tough. But I feel like and I never ever thought in my life that I would be able to like handle business, run a full time business, run a team and be able to manage my home and uh, like kudos to the women and you know even men uh, who like are always balancing these both things it's definitely tough and i in my life never thought i could um, uh, let alone <laughs> manage a week but months without any 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 kind of help but um, it was possible it made me stronger it made me realize that i can do hard things and um, that is how my um, ideology is with every single hard situation that comes in okay so the fourth thing is this i'm so excited about this so last four months of lockdown um i was supposed to work on marketing accelerator 2.0 so that is the newest version of my online course where i teach freelancers how to become awesome at marketing and how to charge for their skills and attract premium clients so um I started recording it in February without knowing what was going to happen, that a pandemic was going to happen or not. Um, but and definitely lockdown and all of the chores slowed me down. But I'm so, so close to um, recording it. I think in a week or so I'll be done, uh, which is so exciting to me. And for the past five months, I've spent creating a product and giving my all like blood, sweat and tears to this product. I have done nothing else other than this product and basically nothing no, no distractions nothing which will take my focus off i have said no to every single pr stuff that we have gotten interviews and summits and all of those things um i have like basically done nothing other than focus on creating this product and honestly it has been so tough and so exciting and so enjoyable at the same time and i've realized that i'm obsessed about product creation about creating products that actually change people's life um and like i'm so excited because like once i'm done with 2.0 i can focus on creating more products i don't know like the um there are so many things that can be done after this and i'm so excited for that um like uh, maybe i'll create um another course for helping uh, business owners at a higher level maybe i will write a book maybe i can uh, launch my own productivity line which i'm thinking about uh, but uh, you know and i actually also um i had in my goals this year that i was gonna do like live physical workshops but because of the pandemic i don't think that's gonna happen for at least this year so i'm i'm kind of moving that out of my goal setting but the other things i'm very excited about uh, to work on and honestly like when you're working on a huge project it is so easy to get distracted um, and that's called shiny object syndrome like oh this looks good let me work on this and this and this and uh, about halfway through ma 2.0 i was like oh man um this is tough and actually i was uh, recording a tougher module inside so it was taking a lot out of me and it was really tough and i was like okay let me just stop this and work on this new exciting product idea that i just had but thankfully i recognize that pattern because i know how focus one direct one direction focus is important to actually uh, complete such big projects so before i would have easily gotten distracted but now i know the pattern and now, now i know that when things get tough i want to like bounce out and work on something else so i resisted it so much and i uh, pushed through in completing this project and now it's so close and as i said i'm excited to create new things for you guys 
okay so the last thing is pretty recent now i know it might feel like this is uh, ironic since i am someone who teaches on social media and marketing and business and showing up online confidently and um, attracting your right audience but social media breaks have been so important to me um, and going back to the first point it's like i'm a human outside of being an entrepreneur so i need downtime I need to not look at a feed and other people's stories and other people's lives for a bit and I need to focus on my own mental health and I was noticing from the past couple of months my Instagram um, scrolling time was 2 hours and up per day and that's a lot like uh, yes I need uh, social media for my business but I don't need it for 2 hours a day um, that's just a waste of time so uh, the past few weeks I have actually taken more time off of social media without announcing it like i don't need to tell anyone that i'm taking time off i just do it i just delete the app um for a couple of days or even more i don't post anything i don't look at anything else and um, you know i focus on me my mental health and my family so i've actually used that time better now like the time i used to spend scrolling instagram i now spend it uh, reading books i had noticed that my reading ability had gone so down my speed was so down i actually um, did an analysis that over the last year i had barely completed two to three books which is so unlike me and i'm like okay what's the reason and social media was the reason of course uh, and if that's for you then you should also know that you have to first find out where the time is going and then you have to make a plan to get that time back and for me it was stopping social media for larger amounts of time and then dedicating it to reading and now in the last three weeks itself i've completed two books um and uh, Currently, I'm, I have like a list of five books that I'm reading. I like to read simul simultaneously at the same time. Uh, otherwise, I get bored. So I have a list of five books. I'm excited to read them. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So what I'm saying is your mental health is your first priority. You are your first priority. Even though you're running a business, maybe you're a mother or maybe your job is stressful and challenging, uh, you should still be your number one priority and do whatever it takes ruthlessly cut down on things that are not serving you anymore uh, to uh, become the best version of you. All right, guys, those are the five things and I hope that they were helpful. I hope that you can learn from my lessons and um, for the birthday, I am honestly really hoping that I get to travel soon. That's the only thing on my mind. I hope I get to um, go on uh, like I'm honestly thinking that I want to go to the mountains and like breathe the fresh air and be inside greenery, go on a hike. That is honestly what i am looking for uh, once this situation passes over and i also am looking forward to going to goa because monsoons are coming and monsoons in goa are the best thing in the world like literally i've been go i've been doing the same thing for the past two years i go to goa during monsoons and have the best time ever so really that's what i'm hoping for but yeah i hope that you like this video go ahead like the video and comment on the video what did you think of it and wish me happy birthday and thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one so the second one that i've learned is your habits are really for um turning 27 finally i don't know finally like what does that even mean scrolling instagram so this video is a little bit different different <laughs>